we out here, Nooner. What's up, brother? Let's do this, man. Let's first, handsome guy behind first, the camera. Huh? No, stop. First timer over here. Decided, decided to see the cosplayers. We're back, man. Oh my gosh, they just killed Kenny! <laughs> oh. Cool? Is this cool? This is good? Yeah. The square painter you said Nuna's yeah, over here? Adam, so. We'll check that out later. Himself. Look at all this, man. I'm loving the cosplay. T-shirts. This is amazing. A lot of Pokemon I'm seeing, too. It's amazing. Shall we do it, brother? Um, square painter, some amazing art. Nunez is Mr. Popular over here. I'm totally filming it over here. See the Sonic and Knuckles? I'm gonna ask him about that, because that is nice. badass. Or did you see the turtles? Where? Oh, I love that one. That's great, the turtles over there. Look at this art. Yeah, like I saw the before and after. I see a lot of things missing. I might have to see them. That dude, how cool, how cool was that? That came out great. Shameless promo. Nooner, what are, what are we looking for today specifically? Uh, let's see, we're looking for, we're looking for CDI, we're looking for 3DO. For end gauge, nice. Retro Mania over here. Great wrestling video game. So they got some swag over here. Hey. So we got some stickers over here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, back here live on the BCP Live at Too Many Games with my new friend, Mr. Mike Herman of Retromania. Mike, welcome in, how are you, bro? Great, hey, happy, happy to be on the interview. I really appreciate you having me. No, long overdue. Uh, let's talk about Retromania. Now, obviously, the game's been out for a little while. I gotta say, I love what you're doing, man. Thank Old you. school style. I love the roster you put together. Tell us about your philosophy in putting this game together, man. You know, really, I just wanted, I always, I grew up with WrestleFest, uh, Matt Mania, uh, Super WrestleMania, uh, Raw on the on the Sega Genesis, yeah. Royal Rumble. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> so I like those 2D arcadey wrestling games, and yeah. there were there's, there hasn't been any in a while. And I was sick of waiting, so I said, "Hell, I'll make it myself." So yeah, and, then, nice. and here came Retromania Wrestling. So that's really why I made it. You know, that's awesome. And you got a great setup here. Like one of the booths we first noticed. Uh, I had heard so many great things from my friends and even wrestlers yeah. about Retromania. Tell us about your setup here, because I love the stickers. I yeah. love the arcade. Tell us what it's like interacting with these fans after such a weird pandemic era. Yeah, it's been awesome to be back out here. I was here in 2019. And that was the first time I'd ever brought the game anywhere. Yeah, okay. Uh, and we had no wrestlers in there. It was just two bald guys, one black guy, one white guy in pink shorts and green shorts. And that's all that was in the game at that point. And uh, it was received actually pretty well for that. You know, and I, it, it, nothing else gave me confidence that I struck a nerve. And then coming back here now in 2021 has been awesome. Yeah. Interacting with so many people. We had the Blue World Order. I was going to say. Yep. Out here on Friday and Saturday. We had an awesome panel. Um, and it was just a great weekend overall. It's been awesome. That's awesome. Were you at a standalone last night? I saw, yes, the, I I saw the arcade was there, man. Yes, what was, a great uh, event. Shout out uh, to our friend Chad. How was that, yeah, man? It was awesome. It was awesome. They had a great turnout. Uh, Mark Henry was there. Yeah, I saw, Talked yeah. to him a little bit. It was just a great time. What's it like working with the Blue World Order? They're, I see you got very connected to this yeah, game. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, it's great working with them. All three of them have been awesome. I've got to know all of them personally. And it's just so cool to, to, to meet the guys I watched on TV. Yeah. Uh, and and near, realize they're all really good guys. Yeah. It's been awesome. That's really cool. And uh, real quick, and thank you so much for your time, man. Uh, I no appreciate problem. it. I want to be respectful. But talk about putting together this roster because you have legends. You have indie guys. I think some of our friends that are referees yeah. are in this game. You have people that are currently on national TV right now. War Horse is in the game. Yeah. He's got stickers for everybody. Come yeah. visit the booth wherever he is. Tell us about putting together the roster. Where was your mind at that point? You know, at first, it was actually going to be all YouTube talent. I love so that, though. Okay. we're going to go with, like, I, I personally watch, like, RGT85, the Game Chasers. You know, okay. I, I reached out to Angry Video Game Nerd and all okay, these guys. Okay. And that was my initial idea. But then I'm like, well, let me see if I can get some wrestlers. It was a little daunting because I didn't know where to go to sign them. But I reached out to Road Warrior Animal when he was still alive. R.I.P. Yeah, and I was able to sign the Road Warriors. And I'm like, all right, well, if I can get the Road Warriors, I can build a game around them, you know? Yeah. 
So, and I just slowly made contacts, contacts, and, and it's really an eclectic roster, I would say. It, it mixes people from old school to new school. Like, like you said, we have yeah. the Road Warriors, and we have War Horse. Yeah, I love like, oh, that. I'm becoming indie guy, and uh, it's just a, it's an everywhere up and down the gambit. The major wrestling figure guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cardo- all those uh, great Cardona guys. Matt Cardona and Brian Myers, yeah, they've been awesome. That's awesome. And R.I.P. Animal, former yeah. guest of the show, name drop, a great, yeah, great dude. Uh, uh, that's awesome. And honoring him in this game, you have so much great things going on. Let's talk about that shameless promo. We will be reviewing the game on the PopRake.com. Can't wait. Yeah. I've heard nothing but good things. Where can people pick it up? PlayStation Store, all that yeah, good stuff. Yeah, so it's on the eShop, Nintendo eShop, PlayStation Store. Xbox Store. Uh, we're on Steam. We are on II Arcade, which is a, a connected arcade cabinet. And then I believe we have uh, we should be coming to Epic Games at some point as well. That's awesome, man. Hey, congratulations on Retromania and continued success with Thank you very much. Mike Appreciate Herman, it. ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, Brock. This is your Graceland, my friends. Look at this. Cosplay. Games there are Turtles in Time, Street Fighter 2, Smash. Yeah, very good selections on these games. You can see the thought they put into Mega Man 2, I see. Oh, this is happening. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Nunez says that in Japan, you are literally fighting the person on the other side of the arcade. Well, it's pretty cool, man. Very epic. I think that's, that's Robin on a daily basis. Yeah. <laughs> Versus City. Wild Chris Nunez in his natural habitat. On the hunt for games. His prey. Mythical Sega Saturn. Getting excited, Nunes. We're out here. Just got a picture with the statue. This is the first. This is a big moment, bro. Yeah, it was my statue, you know. <laughs> Love it, dude. So it's a little wet. So I don't know if we're gonna run, run. We were gonna, but we might get injured. Do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? I'm wrong. We'll see. Is that a bad idea? I mean, just be careful with your phone. Nah, that I don't care about. You ready? Yeah. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh, he's getting oh, it's stuck. Not, it's not too bad. This is crazy. Man. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> no, see, but see this? Ain't nothing, bro. My pants are falling down, but. <laughs> hey, you gotta get to the top. Let's do it. We got this, bro. See, people usually stay here. No. Oh. That's it. That's it. We up here. It happened, bro. Outside Geno's, Nunez with the VIP parking as always. We got the gift shop. I don't know if you guys can see. You yeah, can't really see. But Pats is back there. I went and got the packs. Uh, the Pats, rather. Packers are on later. Uh, Nunez. Four and one. With the Geno's. Got two each. And, uh, and I'm I, very proud of myself. Yeah. Both. My man. Never a doubt. But yeah, the. We had a, a little bit of both. I, I give the edge to Pats, man. A little cheesier, a little bit more flavor, uh, Today, and no disrespect. I mean, but like I said, it, it there's never this big of a difference. It's not that it was bad. It's just 
Pat, Pat, Pat took the dub today. You did, yeah, it did a little more flavor, a little more cheese. Took that dub. I think Gino's had a little bit more of that, like white cheddar or something, like on there, like an actual slice. This one had more of like, like that the was, cheesy wit. That uh, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>